Hi, it's Lori, your posture specialist. I just want to give you a couple of exercises that you can do at home to help correct your posture. And also this one really works the waistline as well. One of the great things about Pilates is it really flattens the stomach and thins down the waistline. And of course it supports the spine and corrects the posture. It's good all the way around. So plank, I want to show you a proper plank. The first thing in plank is making sure that your feet are parallel hip width. You might not be able to see it from this angle, but angle, but hip width is a little more than a fist distance between your feet, okay? So you want your feet parallel, meaning straight up and down. You don't want them turned out. Holding plank, you wanna make sure that your neck is long. You're not gonna lift your chin up. You don't wanna engage your neck. You wanna press your neck long. You wanna pull your belly in. You don't wanna arch the back like this. You wanna squeeze the glutes and you wanna breathe. <sighs> like that. Drop those shoulders down a lot, pressing right here between the shoulder blades. You can go to the knees and hold the feet up like that if you wanna hold plank like that and your hips should be right down here. So you're gonna just take your neck long and just hold right there and breathe. You want your palms facing exactly upward and you want your hands as wide as your shoulders and your elbows as wide as your shoulders. Now as you hold this position, you just keep on breathing. And now we're gonna do an oblique twist. So if you're in advance, you're back up here on your feet. You're gonna inhale, take your hip to one side, pause. Exhale back. <sighs> inhale, go the other side, pause. Exhale back. <sighs> you're not gonna move your feet. You're not gonna move your head or your shoulders. You wanna make sure that you're set in that position, <sighs> exhaling on the way back. Good, keep on going with that. If you're in basic, you're on your knees, your hips will move with you, your feet will move with you on this one. <sighs> Inhale, go to the side, exhale, come up. <sighs> make sure you don't arch your back and make sure you don't turn your head. <sighs> so you just hold that position, keep going back and forth and do about a minute of those. And when you're done, You'll head on back to child pose. Drop your chin to your chest, round your spine and breathe. Do five breaths there. Then you're gonna walk your hands over to one side, push your palms into the floor, pull your shoulders back, set that hip to the side, drop your head and breathe five breaths. Keep pushing that hip out to the side quite a bit. You wanna get that stretch right back there. Then you're gonna walk your hands over to the other side. Press your palms into the floor, pull your shoulders back, set the hip to the side, drop the chin down and breathe. Five more deep breaths. So on this work, the breathing helps release the muscles. The breathing triggers your relaxation response. You wanna use that breathing to build your strength and to release the muscles and to release the tension in your muscles and in your mind. And that is good right there. Have a great day.